Hey, what's going on everyone? So continuing with my series of videos on how to better study for certifications and actually get the most out of your study time and passing certifications instead of just memorizing, taking certification, memorizing, taking certification, actually utilizing them to prove your skill set. Today's video is all about projects that you can do to implement your skill set gained for the AZ-104 certification. Now, you might be asking, Gwen, why don't you cover this? Why don't you cover this certification, that certification? Fine, I will. But you're going to have to comment which certification you want me to cover next. And the comment that gets the most amount of likes will be the one that I do next. The By the way, hit a like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Um, it really does help. With all that being said, hi, I'm GPS. I do cloud things at Microsoft and here on YouTube. And welcome to a new video. All right. So the way I, I'll have the link to this GitHub repository in the description, but the way I've sort of uh, put this together is certifications have study guides. The uh, I know the Azure one, the Azure study, the Azure guides are called study guides. Uh, I'm sure the other ones have different names like AWS and GCP, but they all overall have these guidelines, which are essentially skills that are measured on the certification. The 104 has five here. It has the manage Azure identities and governance, implement and manage storage, deploy and manage Azure compute resources, implement and manage virtual networking and monitor and maintain Azure resources, right? So you, and if we scroll down, like let's let's go to like, uh, which one do we want? Uh, like deploy and manage Azure compute resources, right? It gives you a more in detailed uh, like description of what each one actually means. So for example, modify an existing ARM template, modify an existing BICEP, create and configure virtual machines and like things like that, right? So what I've gone and done is you, you have a, a project per that uh, high level skills measured, right? So not for the individual one, but there, like I showed there, there was five here, right? So there's five, where is it here, here, here? So there's five here and then I've created a project for each one here, so one, uh, we'll go by one, we'll go through them one by one. So the first one's called Onboard Automator, which corresponds to the Manage Azure Identities and Governance. Also, these projects, you don't have to do them all. I'm just trying to give you ideas um, and you can change them however you'd like. You can choose to use everything that I've said here, choose, just use one, whatever it is, really. I'm just giving you high level instruction descriptions, services you're going to be using and some high level steps and guidelines. Uh, this is by no means like a course or anything like that. This is just, Hey, this is something that you can build that will implement this section of the certification. Okay. So anyway, back to the, uh, guide, I guess. First one's onboard automator. And this is all about streamlining and automating the process of onboarding a new employee. Essentially, you're going to use these services here to receive an email or some sort of event that gives you details on a new hire, and then you're going to set up uh, that account in Azure AD and then provision some resources depending on the role of that new user, right? Uh, and again, high-level guidelines there. This is actually something I did back when I was a junior cloud engineer. It was a pain because they used GoDaddy for their Azure subscription. Uh, but yeah, you learn a lot doing that kind of stuff. Uh, also, I'll say that I added this section here, program required. You see that in this first one, there's none. In the second one, there is programming. In the third one, there is some programming, but it's just knowledge of JSON for ARM templates and bicep language syntax. Uh, it's, not a, it's not programming program. It's not like Python or something like that. Uh, and then in this fourth one, there's no programming. And in the last one, there's no program, okay? The 104 is not very heavy in programming. If this was something like the 204, then you would expect a lot more programming. But I added that field there because people ask all the time, like, do I need to know how to code? I would say yes for all cloud technical roles, but I've just added this here for some further clarification there. But I think even, even as you'll see here in the example, it's just knowing how to use the CLI, something like Bash, something like PowerShell, it's just going to make you so much more efficient. So, but I still feel like I should have, I, it would be best if I clarified, so I did. Okay, so the second one is called Share Safely. I generated a bunch of corny names, but um, yeah, I feel like it's more fun. Uh, it's a file share web app. Essentially, this is like a temporary, uh, like a website where you can upload a file and say, I want this file to be able to be downloaded, but it expires in, I don't know, 24 hours. You have to give a specific date or something like that. And then someone can download the file with that link. 
until it expires, right? And this, uh, the skills measured area is implement and manage storage. And again, create a web application where users can securely upload files to Azure Blob Storage. Once uploaded, the application generates a unique time limited link for the user to share. And the services you're going to use Blob Storage, Web, SQL Database, Key Vault functions. Obviously, you're going to need programming because you need to build the web application. And again, there's some more guidelines there too. The third one is called VM Fleet Commander. It's all about ARM, all about. Uh, BICEP, I believe. I think I wrote this wrong. Manage Azure Governance and Resources. It's actually Manage, Deploy and Manage Azure Compute. Wait, hold on. Manage Azure Identities and Governance. Manage Azure Governors. And I think I put this one wrong. Manage Azure Identities and Governance. Implement Storage. Yes. Manage Azure. Manage uh Deploy and manage Azure Compute Resources. Government Governance and Resources. Yeah, that's supposed to be deploy. Yeah, this is wrong here. I'll switch this over. This is supposed to be deploy and manage Azure Compute Resources. We can actually do this right now. Let's do some live coding, people. But yeah, anyway, um, I'll do that in a second. But this is like a lot of ARM and BICEP stuff, and the goal is for you to understand infrastructure as code and how to deploy not just compute resources, but many resources. There's even like storage stuff and things like that to Azure using ARM and BICEP, right? So here it tells you virtual machines, uh, ARM, Azure Resource Manager, and BICEP. And it tells you uh, some things to go through, some things to provision, some things to work on, parameter files, BICEP stuff. And you will implement a project that does all that for you, okay? Uh, I'll, make the, I'll make the update at the end, actually. Okay. The fourth one is called NetMaze Explorer Implement and Manage Virtual Networking. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And here, you're going to design a hybrid networking environment where on-premise networks connect securely to Azure resources using Azure's networking capabilities. No programming here, but you're going to use a bunch of networking services. You're going to use VNets, VPN Gateway, Network Security Groups, Bastion, Private Link, DNS, and Load Balancer. Uh, you're going to set up so your VNet, and for your on-premise, obviously, you probably don't have an on-premise uh, <laughs> data center. But you can just simulate this using another VNet, uh, another region, or you know, you know, just different. Yeah, another region would probably makes sense um, to simulate, right? And then you're going to use VPN gateway to create VPNs, obviously. And then you're going to be able to enable communication between your on-prem environment and your cloud environment, right? You can use NSGs, and then you're going to well, you're going to do a couple of things actually um, here for creating like a secure connection and secure access. Uh, then you'll use private access to act your to access Azure Pass services. So maybe you deploy like a blob container in one of your VNets and then you'll have to use private access to give you access to that. Uh, and there's a couple other things here too. But yeah, overall the idea is for you to mimic an on-prem and environment, cloud by environment, and then have this uh, hands-on experience with a hybrid environment, okay? Cool. And the last one is Azure Insightscape, which uh, implements the monitor and backup resources skills measured part. And you're going to de design a comprehensive monitoring dashboard to gain insights, troubleshoot, ensure smooth operations of all your previous projects. So my goal is, I guess the goal was for, you know, you to build all these out. And then this last thing is essentially going to be monitoring all your stuff, right? No programming here, but KQL, Custo, which is the query language you use to go into Azure Monitor and look up whatever it is that you need, would be very helpful to know here. You're going to use Azure Monitor, Azure Log Analytics, Azure Security Center, Azure Alerts, Azure Application Insights, Azure Network Watcher. Insights is for your web apps, Network Watcher for your networking projects, right? Uh, so you're going to set up Azure Monitor. You're going to set up your Log Analytics workspace so all your monitoring data can go into it. Application Insights is for your web app. Networking monitoring, uh, network network monitoring for your NetMaze Explorer project, uh, security and compliance stuff. You're gonna set up alerts, and then you're gonna create your dashboard. Uh, also, I had this backup and disaster recovery section in here. This might get a little expensive, so feel free to skip it. Uh, but uh, don't definitely don't skip the documentation, best practices stuff. And I think that's actually in a couple of these monitoring, auditing. Uh, I feel, I thought I added that to a couple, yeah, documentation here. Essentially, this is just like for your project document. Okay, why did you set this alert? 
or why do you have uh, a production? Well, no, what are your production and development environments names when you're using different um, files in like which section is that here? So for example, where is it? Uh, create separate parameter files for your bicep templates, allowing for different environments, dev, test, prod, like which files are used for which environments. Like the documentation part is, is very crucial to every project, right? So yeah, as you can see, they start, I guess it depends on what your current experience is and what you like doing and what you don't like doing, but they start sort of not as involved and then develop into like very involved. Like you have a complete monitoring solution at the very end. But I feel like this will actually help you learn what you need to know for the 104. And not only that, but when you go into interviewing or when you're on a phone call, like the HR person, and it's like your first call or like your first technical call or whatever, they're like, do you have the AZ-104? I'm like, you can respond instead of saying, yes, I do have the 104. He's like, yeah, I took the 104. I built a couple of projects to uh, really validate my skills. Uh, the, the 104 covers like a bunch of things and you know, and, and when it comes to the the implement and manage storage, I've got this app that uh, allows you to upload a file and someone download it, uh, but there's an expiration day. I also implemented a cohesive uh, monitoring solution for all the projects that have deployed Azure. I uh, also simulated a, a automation of a onboarding process for new users to Azure Active Directory and provisioning resources. And yeah, you know, so on, so on, right? So you're not just like, yeah, I passed it. Yeah, I pass it in a week. Like nobody cares how quick you pass these things. Like you, if you don't, if you can't prove it, right? All right. Um, so yeah, I'm. Pro I have to make some updates here, but uh, let me know in the comments which project you should be building. But also let me know which certification you want me to cover next, and I'll do that. All right. I'll see you in the next video.